Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Gears Tactics blind playthrough where we're trying to beat the game on insane difficulty, highest difficulty, without having seen it beforehand. It's time for Act 1, Chapter 5. Steel Lightning is the name of the game. Apparently kind of a hold, uh, hold the mission or hold uh, different zones objective. Uh, take control of the site and retrieve a cargo before the grubs destroy it. Okay, fair enough. Hold both control zones for two or more consecutive rounds to get an optional objective. So, okay, that sounds like we can do it. Um, in terms of going in, when we're now trying to hold zones, we said we wanted to get all of the main characters involved. So that means uh, Mikala here is going to join us. Uh, just need to color code her. Good, there we go. She is going to wear the white color. And uh, Jack has gained some experience, but not enough to level up. I hope we will, we will see him um, on a bit higher level. I like the barrier skill, by the way, a lot. That worked just fantastically fine. I hope that my kind of mass movement into action economy manipulation skills eventually turns out to be the right call. Jack and uh, Tank here will go for one point and uh, Gabe and Sid will take the other one. And I hope uh, the idea is the sniper might be able to oversee both of them. Let's take a good look if that all makes sense. If we want our convoy ready to fight, we need fresh supplies. Dig in near the crates and load up the cargo we need. Good. Let's dig in and get that cargo. Time to lock down some cargo. Oh boy, I wish I would have taken one of the scouts Let's with me. Oh boy. <laughs> well, too late for that now. Okay, good. We need to approach that mission. Let's take a look here. Supply point. Supplies remaining seven. So apparently you can get seven supplies. Have a unit at the start of your turn to gather supplies. Okay, so you can get 14 supplies. One, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen rounds overall. Not sure what that little flag here means. And if we hold both points for two or more consecutive turns, we get the bonus. And everybody needs to survive. Okay, cool. Well, I mean, easy enough. Let's think that through. By the way, where are the crates? One here. One here. And one here. Hmm. Oh, well, that one is pretty far in. Um, well, as an idea, how about we're just putting the drone here. It can make itself invisible and just hold that point. And we station our group up here. Copy. Now, who holds the other point then? Potentially going to be the one with the most hit Waiting points, orders. right? Sit. I'm listening. Okay, not sure if that is a great strategy or not, but I'm going for it. All ease. Watch me go. Okay, we have three people on the bridge, essentially <clears throat> able to shoot into both directions. Dig in. And Take let's off. see who of the two damage dealers is the better one. All right, enemies incoming. Three of the hammer, hammer heads, I think was the name of them. The ranged guys. Time to make a move. If I was to, oh, that's Roger a good that. one. I have an idea. Yep. Hey. Caught you red-handed. So if we're handing over that one extra Get after it now. action, he has one action, and since he is the Overwatch specialist, that means 
he gets an extra action, so it's two actions for Overwatch. Sniper. Sniper has four actions. Love it. Let's move on to the other side. That means okay. she can help more on the left hand side. Yep, we're covered. And we're just going to pick up whatever is possible. Okay. Move it in and let's move all the way down here. Ready for collection. Here they come. Alright, so we hit them. I'm not sure if... Yeah, okay, we interrupted both of these guys. Those clowns. But this... One of them actually made it downstairs. And... We're now looking at many, many, many of the wretches. Those were the melee fighters. I would just, if I was to take a while, yes, I suppose they are just going to run up on us. But luckily we do have grenades. Now it's our turn. Yep. Good, so we're looking at, what, 80% chance to hit him. I think the name of the game is hitting him twice. Wait a second, just out of curiosity, can we hit the guys down here? Eh, not, not good enough of a chance. I'm here. On the other hand, that's a decent chance. But she cannot hit anyone downstairs. Okay, well, I guess I'll just play it as follows. Jack up, Jack up again. Then we're. I'm ready. Stay out of trouble, Jack. Hiding. Then I would Little confirm teamwork. So I got the suspicion that he's going to kill at least one person. Okay. He's fully loaded and jacked up. So. Oh yeah, that hurts a lot. Critical hit. Does that count as a kill? Yes, it does. Okay, he got his action back. In the meantime, let's overwatch nice here. Perimeter going. Okay. Now, can we continue hitting these guys? 50 50. Hmm. Could also force them. To stand there. Yeah, the 50 50 is not good enough. Not good enough for me. This looks like a good hit. Oh, wow. Crit and. Oh. Double down. Three. Per wow. I start to believe the sniper might be a tiny bit OP against enemies in the open. Only 40% chance to hit. Uh, too low of a chance. Could we? Yeah, we could basically open up a corridor. Time for a reload. We need more ammunition on the sniper. That's the problem at the moment. Got it covered. Yeah, yeah. Heavy here. They won't get past me. Good. We got plenty of overwatch. We just need to keep the circles clean for now. One more round and we got the optional achievement. Well, so much for the optional achievement. One of them actually made it in. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, that was good. Too bad. Okay, we got a supply on one end, but not on the other. This will be good. I like it. That is an auto reload for everyone. So let's maybe start here. Reloading automatically. Handle one. Oh boy. The sniper means business. No on ammo. I wanted to. I, I was trying to pre uh, preserve our grenade. But apparently I need to use it. It's unfortunate. Frag out. Kill confirmed. I'm reloading. Good, we're reloading. Let's make sure that whenever this guy here comes down, we're greeting him. I've got Overwatch. Okay, this down here is a mess. And now what I wanted to do was to reload. Reloading. She's automatically reloading. Oh, the one that I wanted to reload is not reloaded. Oh, that's a pity. Unfortunate. Okay. Shit. I unfortunately jacked him up twice. Not the end of the world. Let's do it. Good kill. Good. We're we're back. Um... Can we? Sort of take that and still go for cover. Potentially not. But I think well, there's one over here. Changing position. Hmm. Okay. I mean, we could kill him. But would it offer us anything? Yeah, potentially not. Other than a little bit of experience, I guess. Still don't know if you get experience when they Making just friends, huh? continue to die. Got be activity. Nice. Cresting the hill. Keep at it. So one more turn on, of holding, and then we should be good. <laughs> I want that chest here. Stay out of trouble, Jack. Should be useful. So we retrieve the case. And we can slowly but surely move up. I might want to get that extra case down there. Setting up a kill zone. Okay, overwatching. I read you. Gonna reload. Reload. And let's overwatch into that direction. Setting up the perimeter. And finally our sniper, full ammunition. 
begins to overwatch as well. This guy should be dead. Here we go. <laughs> Wait, 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 that's the Berserk. Oh. I hate them. Okay, a bit more should do it. Here Good. We, go. we got both of the side options. Uh, we now need this here. Well, that's two. Oh, I do have an idea. We could do that. What's next? Plus. Handing over an action to Jack. And Jack moves back into the circle. Ready. At the same time. Right. Let's move up. And eventually get over there. I have a feeling that there will be another now. drop here. We see anyone on this side? No. I do have an idea. Now that we have time, I haven't done that before. But if those guys are moving in from here, let's plant a mine right in the middle here. That way, if they are charging in, we can hide back here and they just charge through it. Right. Question is, do we want to kind of stand over here? I don't know. We do have enemies on the other side. Let's short the switch and we know they are coming from here. Sure thing. Overwatching, heavy overwatches. That's another Berserk. Oh. Did I mention that I hate them? Shit. Even more of them are coming. Go time. Hit them hard. I read you. Okay, so what's the plan? We we got a pretty nasty berserk right there. And what I would want to do is buff up the heavy. Uh, again, misclicked. Oh, that. We might lose Jack if this guy runs into us. Can't let that happen, so could we? Uh, we could move up. I think we need to move up quite a bit. Can we somehow shift ability right. points? No, empowers on cooldown. I was uh, thinking that we might just ideas um, focus him down. That's not a bad uh, chance of hitting. He's now berserking. Got 
happened? Okay, well, not... I mean, generally not too bad. You got it. Anchoring lost, but we got... 40% chance uh, that he stays the right there. Getting rusted. The more important part is the actual Overwatch. On Overwatch. Okay, now. We know there's another massive pack coming over. Let's give Jack here, hunker down. Oh, we can't do that? Oh, that's unfortunate. 40% evasion would have been great, uh, so that Jack doesn't really take a lot of damage. Okay. Is that still in the circle? It seems to be still in the circle. Okay, good. And we're overwatching. Well, let's hope that the Berserks are not just overrunning us. What? Two more Berserkers? Took the entire Overwatch and the Berserk is more or less free to go. Oh boy! Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay. Ah, but we missed one um, of the crates. I was almost there. Didn't really work out. Ah, too bad. But there were a lot of berserkers, so might not be the worst idea to just boogie out. Not sure if I like the the gun so far the sniper rifle let's open all of the chests and see what we've got advanced optics not, not sure what that is this here looks good and plus one ammunition is definitely good ammunition seems to be the biggest problem that we're running into deers here could Advanced optics, 10% critical hit. Well, that looks like something for the sniper. That definitely looks like something for the sniper. Although 20% hit chan crit chance for him isn't bad either. And 5% evasion is certainly the right thing so he got an upgraded helmet cool five percent crit chance patrol on the other hand more damage with overwatch shots yes i like that there is plus one ammunition we don't need that not sure about the stim grenade but we don't have many ways of healing really sit here would use the helmet but equally so our sniper can our sniper take extra ammunition because that would really be important she was suffering from that continuous reloading five percent accuracy bonus for the scout i like it Scout is also a great class. I'm too bad you can't take one of each 
onto those runs. Okay, so we do have Leech. Doesn't really work that well at the moment. Not sure if I if that idea of the regeneration is good or if I rather should go Shock Trooper. But be it as it may, more evasion and that badass skill. We finally kind of got a tank together. This here is great. So I like the class so far. I would say as a tank, he excels at what he's doing. Potentially what we could do, I, I realize just how good that bayonet is. And having less cooldown on that one wouldn't be too bad. When you kill an enemy with the bayonet charge, 20% damage for this turn. And you gain one action. It's a good repositioning skill. And that's really what it is. That self-revive doesn't seem to be really good. And we have distraction level 2. We don't need level 3 with the cooldown. We've barely used it. Well, we oftentimes have used um, Overwatch. So I wonder if that self-regeneration is worth it. But then again, he's not dealing the most damage. And having someone who can continuously heal or give everybody the ability to essentially heal themselves without needing to stand there. That sounds like a good idea. So I'll stick with my original plan. I'm not completely convinced with healing in this game yet. It's it's always the problem in many of those games, right? So you're you're ending up with um, you're ending up with either the healing being completely useless uh, because the enemies are yeah just too too strong and are dealing too much damage or healing is completely op and then you need it uh, i.e making it mandatory that's more kind of the pathfinder um, type of uh, computer games where you need a healing spec cleric uh, to make it somewhat uh, bearable, uh, bearable. Um, this game here seems to air more on the uh, side of the healing being not that great but then again i don't know i mean so far when we've gotten hit, it really, really hurt, hurts quite badly. So, yeah. Gotta wait to see how this whole um, extra ability action thing um, turns out to work. And then, I don't know, we're still having points left over. So, I don't think that he needs to have a lot of high-powered shots. The command skill is not good enough for uh, for that. I would rather uh, think in that specific case we might take that um, a few healing skills like stim and um, that revival patch doesn't uh, look too bad. Like single uh, single target heal, this group heal is also fine. If that's the case, though, if he would be a healer and uh, Sid also would be a healer then we we would have a bit of duplication I wanted to keep the heroes as the main team uh, so currently our main team is support vanguard uh, sniper and essentially the bot which kind of puts only one real DPS in here so from that line of thinking maybe Gabe actually should choose Paragon and then add up with some more damage and just kill shit I suppose so uh, that wouldn't be too bad either. Um, one way of de dealing with it is using this chainsaw, but I really don't want him to go into the front line. This high power shot isn't bad. First shot reduces target's evasion. That isn't bad either. All of the target's skills and abilities are refreshed. Ah, yeah, we are. Uh, I forgot uh, the refresher orb. Yeah, of course we're going with the refresher orb. So it's this plus refresher orb. Never mind. Never mind. I already forgot what I was thinking in terms of builds. Okay, cool. Anyways, that's uh, the end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like uh, the content, specifically Gears Tactics, leave a comment uh, and uh, like down below. Comments help uh, the channel. You know how the YouTube algor YouTube algorithm works by now. 
The more comments we get, the more engagement the video has, and that makes me personally happy. Thank you for supporting the channel, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye, guys.